Welcome to class 7 mathematics classes. Today we are doing algebraic expressions chapter number 13. Okay. Algebraic expression. Algebraic expressions. Okay. Now this algebraic expression is on the algebra. Algebra is a branch of mathematics that uses symbols and letters to stand for numbers. Okay, what is algebra? Algebra is a branch, is a branch of mathematics. Okay, of mathematics that uses that uses symbols symbols and letters and letters to stand for numbers okay so algebra is a branch of mathematics it's a branch of mathematics and it uses symbols symbols means like x y z a b c d okay any english alphabet letters to stand for a number okay now in this algebraic expression we have few terms that we should know like number one is constant and variables okay now what is this constant constants are fixed numbers okay they are fixed numbers example like 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, 999, dot, dot, 1 lakh, okay? So, this is actually a fixed number, okay? Every number is a constant. Every number is a constant. Every number is a, is a constant. Now, variables, variables are symbols taken from English alphabets like X, Y, Z, okay. As it is variable, it changes its values time to time according to situations, according to problem, okay. Example like speed, speed of your bicycle, okay, example speed of your bicycle when you ride a bicycle the speed changes according to time according according to situations isn't it so that speed is represented by any of the letter this and it is called as variables okay so variables are generally represented by letters of english alphabets like x y z a b c etc okay now, a symbol, a symbol which takes, which takes on various numerical values, various numerical values, okay, it's changing according to time, according to situations, is called a variable or literal or a literal okay so variables or literal x y z speed which changes according to time and all another example you can take it as area when you find area area is equals to length into breadth okay so, a piece of land, you are trying to find the area, then the length and breadth of that piece of land is different from another piece of land. So, the area is different from that piece of land to another piece of land, okay, where length and breadth is different, okay. Similarly, perimeter of this piece of figure, okay. 
and perimeter of this figure is different perimeter is what perimeter is equals to 4 into side the length of the side here and the length of the side here is different so this p is a variable s is a variable l is a variable b is a variable okay number two algebraic expressions algebraic expressions okay this algebraic expression is a combination of constant and variables is a combination of this constant and variables connected by the basic mathematical operations that is plus minus divide okay into these four operations are there and these are the symbols of those operations plus minus divide and into so this is a combination of variables and constants connected by these all operations okay for example example i am writing one algebraic expressions this is a constant 2 plus okay this is a variable and here operation is plus now another is 2y plus minus x this is another algebraic expressions where constant this two here this one is a variable because 2y 2 into y it is connected with variable okay that is why the value of this term is also changing so here are two variables 2y minus x okay but the operation is minus here now another is 4 by x okay there's a divide you can write this one as 4 divided by x these all are algebraic expressions okay yes or no now here into is also there so x into y so here two variables and the operation is into these all are algebraic expressions okay no. number three is term okay the various parts of an algebraic expressions connected by plus minus sign are called terms of the expressions okay so let us write to remember the various parts of an algebraic expressions connected this is very important to understand connected by plus or minus many of students do mistakes here are called terms of the expressions okay so for example five example example 5x plus 3y square minus 7z here how many terms are there there are three terms one two three namely what are the terms terms here are this one is plus positive plus 5x comma another term is this one plus 3y square another term is this one minus 7z okay so another example 7z okay no let it be 9xy minus 8y square okay so here how many terms are there two terms are there this is one and this is another okay there are two terms so but if you see this 5x into 3y then here how many terms are there there are one term this is only one term because it is said here connected by plus or minus sign okay terms are counted okay if it is connected by plus or minus but here is into okay multiplication sign so that this whole is one term another if you see here um, 3x by 4 
this is also one term okay so 3x divided by 4 if it is written like this way also then it is one term because here we don't find plus or minus these two are connected with divide sign these two are connected with into sign okay so we see the terms when the terms are, or the expressions are connected with plus or minus okay so that will decide how many terms are there in the algebraic expressions okay plus minus one two three terms here one two terms okay this one is only one term this is also only one term now number four we should understand is like terms and unlike terms like terms and unlike terms okay so here the terms which the terms whose variables parts are exactly same are called like terms for example 4 t comma minus 3 t okay these two are like terms the variable part is same okay only the numerical values are different okay the numerical part is different but the variables are same so here this kind of terms are called as like terms and unlike terms are those terms which are having different variable parts okay like example 7 x square y comma 5 y x square so here these are unlike terms so here you can see the part x square y x square y and x y y x square okay let it be not here here okay let it be x x y square and 5 y x square you can see here the variable part is different okay the variable part is different so let us take another example suppose 7z comma 3y okay the variables are different here so they are unlike terms even the numerical part if it is same then also they are unlike terms because the variable part is different even the powers matters here x y square and here y x square so the variables are different here okay that is why they are unlike terms so now next is coefficient coefficient which we have to understand properly okay coffee since any of the factor of a term is called the coefficient of the product of the remaining factor okay so for example in the term 8 p square q suppose okay so 8 is the this one is the coefficient of this p square q 8 is the coefficient 8 is the coefficient of p square q and p square is the coefficient is the coefficient of 8 q okay 8 q and q is the coefficient is the coefficient of 8 p square okay so if I ask you what is the coefficient of Q then you will hide this Q and what is remaining that is the coefficient of Q. If I ask you what is the coefficient of 8 you will hide this and rem the remaining are the coefficients of 8. Okay what is the coefficient of P square you will hide P square you will hide P square here what is remaining 8Q. So this way you can see the coefficients of the required number. Okay. so. There are two types of coefficient. One is numerical coefficient. This one is numerical coefficient. Okay, numerical coefficient. And this one is called as this one is called as literal coefficient. This one is called as literal literal coefficient. Okay. 
so these things you should understand properly to do the chapter okay few more things we'll discuss discuss those are types of algebraic expressions now types of algebraic algebraic expression okay so these types of algebraic expressions is decided by the terms okay is decided by the terms let us write few terms okay like 2x here 2x plus uh, 3 okay here let us write 2x plus 3y plus 2xy okay so how many terms are here one how many terms are here two terms are there how many terms are there one two three terms are there okay so this is called as mono 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 means one mono meal okay mono meal this one is called as by no meal okay because two this is one one term this is two term okay and here three terms are there this is tri no meal okay in general this is called as polynomial okay in polynomial it can have one term it can have two terms it can have more than 2 3 4 5 any number of terms in polynomial it can have now the degree of polynomial okay the degree of polynomial degree of polynomial 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 means this all okay so what is the degree of polynomial the degree of polynomial is the sum of the exponents of the variable the power of the variable okay let us write one example here okay suppose one degree i am writing uh, one mono monomial i am writing okay suppose this monomial minus 3 a to the power 3 b to the power 5 what is the sum of these two exponents this is called as exponent the power is called as exponent okay the sum of this is 3 plus 5 is equals to how much 8 so the degree of this monomial is how much 8 okay degree degree is equals to 8 okay so if any number like 9 so there is no variable but you know that anything to the power 0 is equals to 1 so we can put ourselves this variable which is having power as 0 okay so the degree of this is 0 degree here is 0 okay and if you see suppose another term i am writing 5y what is the power of y 1 nothing is there that means 1 is there okay so degree here is one so we have done uh, these all things to see the exercises okay do revise these all properly so that in exercises will not face any problems okay thank you very much